so the main form will put everything together. Just like we did before, let's create an outline of what we need first. So first, let me just create the events by double clicking on the buttons. So that's the first one. Second, show passengers event and quit event and also load form. Okay, so we have the list of passengers and we will also need a single passenger object. So let's just create that right now. So I'll double click the form to get here and we have the list here, but I'm going to also create a passenger object. So it's gonna be private because it will be used only in the form passenger and I'll call it passenger. And next we need to initialize the list and create a passenger object. And we can do that in the form constructor. So our passenger will equal new passenger and it can be a blank or empty passenger object and the passengers list will equal new list of type passenger. All right, next we can actually code the quit event and that will simply close the form. So in our button click event for the quit button, we will close the form. So this, that, close, and that will also end the whole application. All right, so let's go to the add event which is here, that's where we add the passenger to the list. And first we need to validate the input. So that's gonna be our first comment, we will validate the input. And once the input is valid, we can create a passenger object. Now, even though the input is valid, we still may not be able to assign the seat because there may be no available seat anymore. So we need to check if the plane has any available seats. So we will check if the plane is full. And if the plane is not full, we still need to verify that the requested seat is not already taken. So we will check if the seat is taken. And after all this, if the input is correct, plane is not full and the seat is available, we can add the passenger. So we will add the passenger to the list. Alright, let's do the delete event next. And remember, the user needs to enter a name that we will search in our list. So first we need to make sure that the user input name in the text box. So that's gonna be our first thing. We'll verify that the user actually entered anything in the text box. And if there was an input, we can create the passenger object and use the constructor that accepts only the passenger's name, because that's what we use to search the passenger name in the list. So that's gonna be our next step. Now we can search for the name in our list. So that's gonna be done right after that. Remember, the search may return multiple passengers with the same name, but the one that is going to be deleted is the one that the user clicks on in the data grid view. So we perform the search and next we need to verify that the search return at least one name. So we will check if no passenger was found. And if a passenger or multiple passengers were found, then we can open our lookups form and display all the passengers with the search name in it. So that's gonna be the next step. We will check if the passengers exist and we will display the name in the lookups form. Remember, the user will click on the name that is to be deleted and then the focus returns back to the main form. So once the focus is back on the main form, we need to verify if the user returned by clicking on the name, meaning that the passenger is to be deleted, or if the user clicked on the cancel button, meaning we just return to the main form and no passenger gets deleted. So we will check what the user actually wanted to do, what operation is to be performed. And then if the user wants to delete a passenger, we can assign the name of the passenger that is to be deleted to our passenger object 
and populate the text box with the passenger's seat information. Remember that we are bounding this information to the object in the lookups form at the click event on the data grid view. So again, we will assign the passenger object that is to be deleted and we will populate the text boxes with the details about the seat and the name. But before deleting the passenger, we want to ask the user for the confirmation. So we will display a message box and ask the user if he or she wants to delete the passenger. And if the user confirms, then we will finally delete the passenger from the list. So if the user clicks yes, delete the passenger, we will go ahead and delete the passenger. So if the user deletes the passenger, we are not finished yet. Because once the passenger is deleted, we need to check if there are any passengers on the waiting list and assign the seat from the deleted passenger to the first passenger on the list. So if the deleted is true, we will delete the passenger from the list. This is the passenger that has the seat assigned to it. So now we have to check if anyone is on the waiting list and also move the first passenger from the waiting list and assign the seat of the deleted passenger to the one from the waiting list. And once we do that, we can now remove the passenger from the waiting list because now that passenger has an actual seat assigned to him. And finally, we can display final summary of the operation, basically display some sort of message box that will inform the user that we deleted a passenger and that we moved another passenger from the waiting list. So that's gonna be to inform user of the deletion and the move from the waiting list. And after the message is displayed, we can clear the form because the text boxes now have the information. We want to clear it and we want to update the seating chart. And finally, the show passengers click event. In this event, we simply display all passengers in the lookups form. However, we want to make sure that we open it in a view only mode because we are simply viewing all passengers and do not perform any delete operations. So this click event will simply show all passengers in the lookups form, but do not allow any deletion. This is going to be just a view mode. Now there's still two methods that we need to create. And one is the method for clearing the form. And actually, let's just code this method right now, because that's very simple. So I'm going to create it. It's going to be private void. And I'll call it clear form and we simply clear the name, seed row and seed column text boxes. So our txt name dot text will be empty and so will be the text in the masked text boxes for the seed row as well as for the seed column. And that's all that we need for clearing the form. And finally, we need a method that will display the seating chart in the list. And I'm going to create a method and I'll call it populate airplane. So it's going to be private void. And, I'll, and like I said, I'll call it populate airplane. So here we will display the seating chart. And to display the seating chart, first, we need to delete the previous seating chart before we display the updated one. And in order to display the chart that has rows and columns, we can use a two-dimensional array. And this will hold the seed information such as 1a, 1b, all the way to 10d. We will create a two-dimensional array of all passengers sorted by seed, row and column. And finally, we simply loop through the array and display the seeds in the list. That's going to be the last step in this method. Okay, so this is our outline of things we need to do. So let's start working on it.